Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with a video going over the iPad 3. That's about that time it's going to be released here pretty soon, so let's go over what all we know. The first thing is, I expect it will have a retina display. Now, of course, if you guys remember when the iPhone 4 came out and it had the retina display, it's going to be very similar on the iPad 3. So it's going to have the exact same size, but the pixel density is going to be much, much higher. To give you guys an idea of what I mean, the iPad 1 and the iPad 2 both had a resolution of 1024 by 768. Now that means how many pixels are in the display, and how many pixels means, you know, of course, how sharp, how clear, all that kind of stuff. However, with a Retina iPad 3, it will have a much larger display of 2048 pixels by 1536. This is downright enormous, and just to give you guys a good idea of how detailed this will be, full 1080p content will easily fit inside the iPad 3's display. Of course, with that many pixels to push, the iPad 3 is going to need a lot of horsepower, and this should be supplied by the Apple A6 processor. Based on the iOS 5.1 beta, it looks like the iPad 3 will have a quad-core CPU, which should give it plenty of power. Of course, quad-core CPUs are coming in several other phones and tablets, with of course the Tegra 3 already shipping in the Asus Transformer Prime, so this really isn't a big surprise to me at all. There also should be a version of the iPad 3, which comes with 4G LTE support. Now this isn't really a major surprise, pretty much any new phone or tablet is not going to be coming out just with 3G, it's kind of old. It's 2012 and pretty much anything new that's going to be coming out should have 4G LTE support. So you can definitely look for that on the iPad 3. As far as what the iPad 3 will look like, we don't have a really complete picture. However, based on some leaked cases, it looks like it will be fairly similar to the iPad 2. As you can see here, if these are legit, the iPad 3 was going to be very similar to the iPad 2 looks to be perhaps about a millimeter or so thicker, but overall everything looks to be very similar. All you know, the ports and the buttons and the cameras and whatnot are going to be in the same place and roughly the same size. So finally, when are we going to see this iPad 3? Well, according to Bloomberg and several other sources, it looks like the iPad 3 is already in production and headed for an early March release. So using a little guesswork based on this, it seems like the Apple event announcing the iPad 3 will probably be in late February or early March, and the iPad 3 itself will go on sale in early to mid-March. Prices are likely to remain the same, however I do expect that the iPad 2 will continue to be produced and probably get a $100 price cut, so you'll have a $400 iPad 2 and then you can move up to the $500 iPad 3. I'm very curious to know, what do you guys think about all this? Do you currently have an iPad and you want to upgrade? Do you have some other kind of tablet? Or are you just curious about what the new iPad's going to be all about? Definitely be sure to leave all your thoughts in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to leave it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in more videos on the iPad 3, be sure to subscribe.